let's talk about cholesterol. How does yes. diabetes affect cholesterol? Yes. Well, type 2 diabetes have what we generally have what we call metabolic syndrome. We used to call it syndrome X. Right. But now metabolic syndrome is the preferred name. And if you have three of five constituents, uh, which I will elaborate on, three of the five, you're susceptible to heart disease. And those five are if you ha are obese, mm -hmm. if you have uh, high blood pressure, okay. if you have high cholesterol levels, high triglyceride levels. So you try to get those down. Mm -hmm. And insulin resistance is the fifth one. Uh, insulin resistance is where the body, the pancreas is producing some insulin, but it's confused about what the stuff is. Anyway, if you have three of those five conditions, you're susceptible to heart disease. Now, personally, I think cholesterol is a lot of bunk. You and do. I would remove cholesterol from the five and put in homocysteine, which I think is more dangerous than cholesterol. The deal is it's uh, an amino acid, usually benign, but if it builds up into toxic levels, it can cause all kinds of problems, including heart disease. So for me, cholesterol is not that big a deal. But as you know, um, sorry to say the drug companies are peddling all kinds of drugs to lower our cholesterol. And it can be done naturally with exercise, with supplements, with mm -hmm. fiber, a lot of, even yogurt, mm -hmm. sugar-free yogurt. A so lot of good ways to lower cholesterol. I've been writing about cholesterol since the 60s. And as I mentioned, uh, 250 was normal back then. Now it's 200 or below. Well, you know, were those early researchers really off the wall? Or mm -hmm. I don't think so. Times have changed. Yes. Thank you, Frank. Thank you.